guys, it's Leslie. Welcome or welcome back to our channel, See by Some Places. Okay, y'all. So in this video, I'm pretty much going to be bringing you with me on my DIY night tour of District 1 Saigon, also known as Ho Chi Minh City. So guys, when I did this video, I actually recorded it sort of like in real time where I was talking to you guys on the camera because I wanted to bring you guys along with me on the experience, right? But then when I started to edit, I noticed that almost all the places that I stopped in this video literally had some type of copyrighted music playing in the background. And YouTube, honey, is very sensitive to copyright issues, so I didn't want to risk not being able to monetize on this video in, this, in the future when I am eventually eligible for monetization. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this as a voiceover and hopefully I can also bring you guys along with me on this experience just the same. So this is pretty much what I'm gonna do. So first things first, let's talk about District 1 Saigon a little bit. So when you're going to Saigon for the first time, um, District 1 is actually recommended as one of the go-to spots for first timers because there are lots of things to do there, especially when it comes to nightlife. And nightlife doesn't always have to be party, guys. Um, they have a lot of coffee shops where you can kind of just sit around, chat with people, or sit by yourself. If you if you want to go to a bar or a nice restaurant, there is that. If you want to people watch, there is that also. So I definitely agree that District 1 is a place to be as a first timer. I also find it, found it easier to navigate relatively um, I'm somebody who's terrible at directions and terrible at navigating places. So if I tell you it was easy to, to navigate, um, I think you should believe me. <laughs> but anyway, I really didn't need to take like a car or taxi or anything like that. And maybe it's the, it has to do with where I stayed. Stayed in this building, it's called the One Saigon and it was an Airbnb. I will leave the link to the Airbnb in the description box below. It was It's a very nice Airbnb, I'll give them that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I think the one issue I had with district one and pretty much, I don't think it's just district one. It's just like a lot of places in, in Vietnam is crossing the street. Like a lot of the places don't have street lights and the mopeds, they just don't stop. They just keep going and going and going. And even the places that do have street lights, I don't know, not everybody obeys the street light and you kind of have to have some kind of skill set to cross the street. So I've heard that the best way to cross the street in Vietnam is to just walk. Once you commit to walking, you just have to keep walking. You can't stop, you can't run, you just kind of kind of walk through and power through. And they say there's a particular sink, a particular flow that you have to be in sync with, which clearly I'm not in sync with that flow yet. So I found it very challenging to cross the street. But anyway, let's talk about this night. So y'all, I kicked off this tour around, I think it was 7 or 8 p.m., not quite sure the exact time, but and the first thing I needed was food because I was really hungry. I didn't have anything, which is kind of usual for me. I tend to eat one meal a day and usually in the evening hours anyway, so it wasn't like anything out of the ordinary. But the first thing I wanted to do was to eat. And um, this time around, I wanted to try this popular Vietnamese food called Bami. It's a sandwich that is made um, with baguette bread and it has like vegetables, meat. Um, there are different variations of Bami. I, come I came to find out later on. They have omelet version, they have fish versions, and they have different type of other protein versions. So this particular spot that I visited um, had um, omelet version and I went for that because if you guys don't know, I'm a pescatarian. I've been a pescatarian for like three years now. Uh, crazy the thing that time has flown by so fast. But anyway, um, they didn't have fish option or other seafood options. They only had omelets, so I ordered that. It came, um, it was warm. It was so delicious, guys. Um, it had. Uh, cucumber and other forms of vegetables in there and then they had this red sauce that tasted a little bit like Tabasco but not really all I know is it was hot but it was good it was good to the point that I wanted to order seconds but I don't know since I came to Vietnam I've had uh, two occasions where I really wanted to order seconds the first time was when I tried pho and I did order a second round of noodles 
So this time around, I had to stop myself from ordering a second because honestly, I didn't want to start this pardon of ordering seconds every time. Um, but yeah, I just enjoyed the Bami and I wished that I had more that day. That Bami has literally become like my favorite Vietnamese food. I eat that thing like literally every day and I have to tell myself, let's see, there are other foods that you need to try, but I'm like literally obsessed. I'm on like a Bami a day diet right now. <laughs> but anyway, after I was done eating, I kind of just like hibernated there for a second. I just kind of chilled there and then I started my walk. So I started walking, 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 and I came across this place called Biu Vien um, Walking Street. I hope I'm saying it correctly. And if I'm not, please feel free to correct me. No shame in my game there. But I came across this place and I was actually surprised. I didn't expect that in Saigon. Not for any particular reason, just because I just didn't expect it. Um, it immediately reminded me of this spot in Phuket, Thailand called Bangla Road, where it's just like this long street that has like bars and restaurants and clubs and game arcades and just a lot of different things. And that was the vibe that I got from there. Um, there were one or two people on the street doing some fire uh, performances, which I thought was pretty cool. And when you're walking down like a street like a Bangla Road or Bouvian, it's so common for people to try to like get you to go to their bar or their club and they will try to give you deals. There are people that are giving me like buy two get one free, buy one get two free, something crazy like that. And if you mind that, you're gonna get super drunk because if you stop at every place that offers you a deal, oh, you're gonna get lit lit. <laughs> so sometimes you just gotta power through, you just gotta say, I'll be back, or you have to say like, no thank you, whatever. But anyway, so as I was walking, there was this guy, he was very persistent. He said, you have to come to my bar. Um, I think the place is called Crazy Night or something like that. And I was like, okay, I'll be back because I wanted to continue walking, right? And he made me pinky swear that I was gonna come back because he probably, maybe other tourists have like told him they will be back and they never came back. So anyway, I went back and I had, uh, he, they had a deal for buy to get one free, which initially when he told me, I was like, that's kind of ridiculous. That's a lot of alcohol. But when you when I saw the glasses, half of the thing is ice and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, okay. The buy two, get one free kind of makes sense. So then he proceeded to bring me a shot, which I was like, no, I cannot do shots while I'm alone because nobody else is here to have my back. So I ended up ordering two drinks and uh, I had a Singapore sling and a mojito. It was quite delicious. And then I just sat there for some time. I don't know about you guys, but alcohol kind of makes me tired and kind of sleepy. So that kind of like messed with my flow. This is why you shouldn't drink on the job. <laughs> so I ended up just like chilling there that night. There were some kids or I say kids. There were some youngies from Australia. They were all chilling there. They asked if some of them could sit on the couch that I was sitting on. I was like, yeah, cool, no problem. Then they started to smoke and they were like, do you want to smoke? I was like, no, I don't smoke. So that just like messed everything for, for me. And I was like, okay, uh, this is my sign to go back to my Airbnb. So I walked back home and that was the end of that night. So I had to continue the tour the second night, but this time around, I wanted to check out somewhere different. And I went to this place called Central Market and basically I wanted to check out what was in there. So basically what I found is that this is a place that has a bunch of shopping options. So there are lots of clothes, there are lots of shoes, shoes um, they have a little bit of gaming going on there what I really liked was this really cool place that was just to me just so aesthetically pleasing it's a food court but the decor is amazing it's totally my style and my color so I'm a little biased there but I, I like the ambience to me it was like cool calm and it was just different right so if I stayed uh, for some time more time in Saigon I was definitely going to go back there and you know check it out and probably order something to eat but i didn't have a lot of time in saigon and there's so much to do there but i would recommend it as somewhere to check out it's very picturesque very instagrammable seems like a cool place to hang out but anyway guys yeah that was pretty much it just me walking around checking out the place and just wondering which Honestly, if you are traveling, I would 
I always recommend building time in for walking and wanderlust where you just go, you don't have a specific timeline, you don't have a anything planned, you just kind of wander around. I feel like you make the best discoveries, you surprise yourself in the process. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was really fun and I'm gonna join the bandwagon and say, if you are a first timer in Saigon, you should consider District 1 as an option, especially if you're into nightlife and nice cafes and restaurants and things like that. But thank you so much for uh, coming with me on this fun adventure as always. And for you who haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and join the fun. We have a lot of fun here, okay? We are lit lit here. But anyways, guys, thanks again and thanks for joining me. Take care of yourselves. I love y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.